Okay, we have our interesting integral. This one's from the UK integration B sample problem number four. We have the integral from zero to infinity of natural log x over x squared plus one dx. Okay, I'm actually doing two videos on this. I've already done one that was the shorter method. I think this one's just a little bit longer. It's really not that long, but I like both methods. So I wanna do two videos on this. To get started for this method, what I wanna use is kind of the idea of flipping the bounds around, making a substitution where we set x well, we could start with either variable we could, but if we set X equal to one over U, then we're saying U is gonna be equal to one over X. So then getting our DX value, just taking a derivative of this one, we're gonna have DX is gonna be equal to just minus one over U squared DU. And this substitution seems to work well a lot of times when you have like an X squared in the denominator. Also with like these bounds, it seems like it's gonna work. So this is a pretty good way to go. So first we'll make the substitution, we'll update our bound. So plugging the infinity in here, that's gonna give me a zero for the upper bound. Then when you plug zero in here, this lower bound's going to infinity. Then for natural log x, plug in right here. So when we do that, we're gonna have natural log one over u. I can actually write that, because this is the same thing as u minus one. So with log properties, I can write this as minus natural log of u. Then the denominator on x is gonna be one over u, so I'll write this as one over u squared plus one. Let's put parentheses because we're gonna need it for this dx to keep it all clear. So we're gonna have minus du and like, let's kind of write the u squared like this because I'm gonna to wanna to just multiply this in right here. But before we do that, let's use this minus sign and just use this swap the bounds just so I can get the larger value up top. So we'll be going from zero to infinity again. And then let's multiply this in and do the rewrite. But first, when I do this, I'm going to bring the minus sign out front. When I do this, we'll have, we'll have well, minus out front, zero to infinity, natural log u. When you multiply this in here, here we're going to have a u squared. I'm going to change the order. Here we'll have a u squared. And then on this term, it's just going to become a plus one. But then let's just do a quick variable change on this. With a definite integral, I can change it back to x, just because I'm going to want to compare to this original thing. So let's do that really quick. We'll have this back, ln x over x squared plus one dx. And the thing you'll notice is what we have right here, this is exactly what we have right here. So I can just do, what I can do is create like a label on this. If we call this i, well here we've got this minus sign, so I can call this down here minus i. But then with this being the case, we can set up a little equation and we can say that because this is all equal, you just transformed it. So we're saying i it needs to be equal to minus i. Well, let's just add an i on both sides like this. On the right side, it's gonna cancel to zero. On the left side, this is gonna become two i equal to zero, which means that i is just equal to zero. And so for our solution to this, we just get a zero. Okay, now the funny thing is I said that this was the longer method and after doing it, it went so fast that I don't even know what's the longer method anymore. So they're both fine, they're both pretty quick, so whatever. <laughs> so that's an interesting problem from the UK integration beat. Thanks everyone for watching, have a good day.